to another episode of Cooking with Island Boy Cuisine. Today we're going to be making jerk chicken quesadillas. Special shout out to the Hancocks for posting a pic on Facebook for us. And today we're going to be trying to make our own. So, what are we going to be using? Alright, so today we're going to be using about a pound of chicken. Uh, we're using Thai meat. And to that, we're going to be adding a pinch of salt. And then... To that we're going to be adding a about a half teaspoon of our own jerk seasoning. Now even though this seasoning is spicy, we still want to add our salt to it. We make sure whenever we make our jerk seasoning we don't want the product to be overly salty. Um, even though a little bit of this product goes a far way, you still need the salt to bump up the flavor. So our meat, it's thigh meat, right? Yes, thigh meat. I recognize it because of the marbling. Yep, hey, baby fat is flavor. The salt, or the fat in here helps to hold the flavor mm -hmm. and spread the flavor. So when you do it like this, you can uh, marinate it overnight. You don't want to leave it for more than about two days because what will happen is that the salt will start to denature the protein and when you cook the chicken, it will be tough then. Okay. So... We're going to put that away. Over here, we have a sample of our chicken. We did ours in the oven. I started off in a pan, and basically, we're just going to cut it up, dice it up for our quesadilla. So, um, when you cook it, how long do you cook it for? We cook it till it's done. It doesn't take very long. Um, we're going to be... Adding a little oil to our griddle. And once we have the oil on, we just put our quesadilla or tortilla skin down. And we're going to start by making up half side of it. So first you want to spread your cheese. And... To my cheese, I like to add a little bit of scallion, and sometimes I'll season it, but because we're making a jerk that's already, it's already seasoned, we're just going to add just the scallion. Then we're going to add some little bit of onions, roasted peppers, we have the rasta colors going, <laughs> red, green, and gold. Some mushrooms, and of course, or meat. meat. My favorite part. Yeah. Okay. So, once we have that bit on there, we're gonna finish it with topping off with a little bit more cheese because we want cheese right throughout. You know. Does that act like a seal? When I it's going to help to seal it. And then we just bring over half. All right. We'll put a little bit more oil on this side. We want to make sure we do that. So while that is going, actually, you know what? Let me do this third one we have here. And while that's going, we're going to be doing a little uh, guacamole because what goes well with quesadillas, then guacamole. So, peppers and some chicken. And tap that bad boy again with some cheese. Yeah, you can. Alright, so while this That's bad boy is going, good. yeah, while this bad boy is going, it won't take very long to cook. We're gonna start with our guacamole. Okay. Yeah, so for guacamole, we're gonna be using avocados. And to your avocados, you want them ripe. A good way to tell if they're ripe or close to be used 
is on the outside it will be a little bit dark when it's not there quite there they're going to be green those you want to put in leave them at room temperature for them to ripen and you're also going to be using garlic a little lime juice salt and pepper we're going to be using fresh garlic for ours and I'm scoring it here so that way once I put it once we scoop them out it'll be easy for us to, to bring all the flavors together how long does it usually take in our avocado to become ripe since we're using fresh ones um, it depends on how, how early you get them or how, how late you get them. Um, they can take a day or two. You just want to leave them at, uh, at room temperature until they become dark. And then they're pretty much ready to go. So to that, we're going to add a little tomato. Garlic. Do you mind flipping those over? Those? Yes. And of course, we need to add a salt and pepper. You need help there or you got it? Just okay. flip it over like that. Just got to get her off first so I don't burn myself. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. I guess you're much better at this than I am. <laughs> That's okay. Just learn the trick of the trip. And then, of course, we're going to... Add some more salt and or pepper, fresh cracked pepper. So with ours, are we going to add anything else or can you add anything else if you want to? Um, some people get funky and they put other things in there like um, They'll put all sorts of vegetables, like peppers. Some people will put peppers. Um, I wouldn't go with peppers personally. I just like to keep it simple. And once we have this, we're just gonna mash that together. And once you want your avocado to, I like mine a little bit chunky. So you have the different textures in there. All right. See that coming together? It looks, looks like avocado. Let me taste it a bit and see where we at. Mmm, beautiful. Salt just on point. Then what we're going to do next is start checking on our guys here to see how they're doing uh, we're getting a little color on them it doesn't take long to do and it's a fun activity to involve the kids in when you're doing your peppers when you're doing your peppers you it's nice just to roast them if you have anything going on in the oven that's what you're gonna use Oh, did you want to put some sour cream on top? We're going to be putting that on the side. Sounds good. All right, so these are looking great. And let's get ready to start plating this one. And you can tell, don't be afraid to lift it up and look in there. All right, so I think we're ready to go on this first one. Like Lizzie mentioned, we want a little sour cream. We'll just put a little dollop here. And then for guacamole. Yeah. And then we're going to start by doing one. Let's alternate these. Whoops. All 
Ooh, right. good. Yeah. You just alternate them. They're not too, too dark. That's no. good. They yeah, have the nice... have to be dark. That nice right. color. Yeah. All right. Good. And that is guacamole eh, with our jerk chicken quesadillas. I'll turn off the heat here so before we get the place burning. <laughs> um, you can also add salsa to this. Um, but for us, this is what we choose to do. Thank you very much for joining us today. Look forward to having you on Monday. Well, of course. Yeah, I know you want to taste. Here, here, taste this one. So, um... Mmm, real good. Mm-hmm. Like cheese. Thank you very much for joining us. Subscribe, share, and like. See you on Monday when we're going to be doing jerk chicken wings. Hasta la vista. Bye.